this time of year, everybody's heaters start coming on. And so the first thing I would add, the greatest danger, I think, is uh, one that people don't think about a whole lot, and that's uh, carbon monoxide, which is a byproduct of, uh, of combustion when they have uh, any kind of a, a fuel appliance. And so it's important to have uh, CO detectors in their houses because you can't see it, you can't smell it, and what it's doing is replacing the air in your home. And it's very tragic when it does rear its head. So that's probably the big one. And then after that are common sense ones that we all seem to lose. And I've, I'm guilty of it too myself in the past. And uh, it's the time when people start lighting candles and they start plugging in their Christmas trees. Make sure that if you're using a live tree, make sure that it's watered. Make sure that it's, it's staying as green as you can get it. And then be careful about the wiring that you put up. Uh, don't overload your circuits trying to get uh, as many lights as you can jammed onto that tree. Um, and, uh, and then common sense, don't, don't bring your candles. Don't leave, never leave a candle unattended when you go, when you go to bed at night, make sure things blown out. Uh, if you're leaving the house for any length of time, just even just to run to the store and back, make sure the candles put out, um, make sure that they're up where kids can't get them, uh, things like that. Because sometimes what will happen is those candles. Uh, those wax candles, they'll build up, and if they get down to nothing, sometimes that glass will break. Well, that's just basically, it's a flammable substance in there, and it'll just spread. And we've seen, you know, uh, tragic things happen on what should be the happiest time of the year. And uh, it's just a time that it's prone to tragedy, but you don't want tragedy. Anytime, especially then. Keep your, uh, there, there are um, heating units that are, you know, people want space heaters and that, but... There are uh, things that are made to be put in a house and things that aren't made to be put in a house. And if it doesn't belong inside a house, uh, don't put it there. Um, another thing is they can do is make sure that their equipment is working properly, have it checked. But the most important thing you can do is smoke alarms and CO alarms in your house and make sure that they're functioning properly, tested, uh, make sure the batteries are working in them. That's the most important thing you can do because if CO starts building up in your house, you'll never know it until it's too late unless that CO detector is going. An easy resource is to go to slcfire.com and that will give some tips. It'll also uh, give a, provide a contact information if you have any questions about what's right, what's wrong, what you can and can't do. Um, we will uh, be happy to answer your questions.